Hey guys, Chris here again for Project Nerf, and today we're going to take a look at the brand new regulator. Take a look. Alright, so we're checking out the uh, Nerf's new flagship elite style blaster. It's in the modulus line. It's called the regulator. Uh, it is a select fire blaster. You have single shot, three shot burst, or full auto capability. Uh, much like the hyper fire before it, it's conveyor fed. Uh, so that may or may not thrill some people. Uh, it comes with a lot of really cool accessories. Let's take a look at some of those. When you get it out of the box, it's going to come with probably the best stock ever in Nerf history. It's a great, great storage stock here. Um, and it, it's solid. It doesn't flex or move around like the original modulus stock. Put that on there. Uh, and it does a really nice job of holding your additional 12 round mag, which is included with the blaster. Uh, it comes with a carry handle that rotates around. Every 90 degrees it locks in place. Uh, so we can put that on the muzzle here. Kind of set it for this Rambo-esque, kind of from the hip style of play. It's not my thing, but uh, hey, you guys do to suit. Uh, it comes with two barrel extensions, a short extension and a long extension, though there's really not a great deal of difference. However, the short extension is really, really neat. I'm going to show you guys exactly what I mean. It's got the top rail. It's also got a rail to hook onto a rail on the bottom of the clip. So you can take your regulator and put this long one on, for example. If you want it to hook the bottom one up underneath it, like so, it gives you a space you could actually hook another blaster onto it, which is kind of really, really neat. Uh, so in this case, we're going to put my, uh, my hammer shot on here. Just because I think it would be cool. Um, well, there we go. Uh, perhaps a little awkward looking, um, but that's quite serviceable. And that, uh, I mean, that would work. It's a little loosey goosey, but all in all, it holds pretty nicely. It's, uh, you know, it's not, I don't think it's going to fall off, perhaps in the midst of combat. Um, some of the other features that the regulator offers. Uh, is an ammo, an out of ammo indicator. When you rev it up and pull the trigger with no darts in the mag, you get a blinking red light. Um, this red light is on a 15 second timer, uh, or it will go out when you load a magazine that has a dart in it, it will turn off automatically. Um, our overall thoughts on the blaster are very, very high. It has all of the advantages that the Hyperfire had before it with the canted flywheel cage and its accuracy, the smoothness of the conveyor, and uh, considerably better styling than the Hyperfire, in my opinion, along with its select fire option, makes it a very, very practical blaster, certainly in as is typical with the conveyor system, one of our dislikes is that if it's older darts, it doesn't necessarily feed so well and it can occasionally jam. But with brand new ones, we didn't have any issues. Um, and the mag release is in front of the trigger right here. So it does make for a little bit of a cramping issue. Um, on the Hyperfire, it was down here in front of the rev trigger, um, which I liked a little bit better. And the position of the mag is much farther up the body of the blaster uh, than many of its predecessors. So it's a, it's a little adjustment period, particularly for the reload. Um, the pull on the mag or drop of the mag is not so big a deal, but on the fly you instinctively want to go here, like this, uh, like with almost every other uh, blaster out there. So the forward mag well is something to get used to. It's not a bad thing. It's just something worth mentioning. Costs right around 60 US dollars, and in our opinion, is well worth every dime of it. It's an excellent, excellent blaster. It's packed full of features. Uh, there's a lot of potential for modding, and we look forward to doing that for you in the very near future. Till next time, this is Chris for Project Nerf saying, Have a blast.